So let me solve it. some problems on stresses in bars of varying cross section. So let us take first problem. An axial pull of thirty five thousand newton is acting on a bar consisting of three lengths as shown in the figure. If the Young's modulus is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter square determine stresses in each section total extension of the bar so this is the given diagram so here p equals 35000 newton so Young's modulus 2.1 into 10 raise to 5 newton per millimeter square so this is section 1 section 2 and this is section 3 so first section 1 for section 1 so length l1 equals it is 20 centimeter which is equal to 200 millimeter then diameter d1 d1 equals 2 centimeter which is equal to 20 millimeters so once you know the diameter you can calculate the area so a1 equals so pi into 20 square divided by 4 let us use the calculator So pi into 20 square so area a1 will be three fourteen point one five mm square so let let us take section 2 for section 2 length l2 equals 25 centimeter which is equal to 250 millimeters next diameter d2 3 centimeter which is equal to 30 millimeters so similarly area a2 equals pi into 30 square divided by 4 equals so pi into 30 square So divided by 4 which is equal to 7 naught so here a2 7 naught 6.85 similarly for section 3 section 3 so length l3 equals so it is 22 centimeter so 220 millimeters next to diameter d3 so diameter it is 5 centimeter which is equal to 50 millimeters so a3 
so pi into 50 square divided by 4 So here area A3 is 1963.49 millimeter square. So here area it is in millimeter square. So once you know the load and area for each section, so you can easily calculate the stresses in each section. Because sigma 1 equals P divided by A1. So sigma 1 equals. So here P is 35,000 divided by A1. 314.15. So here the load is in Newton. So area in millimeter square. So sigma 1 equals. 35,000 divided by area 314.15 so sigma 1 sigma 1 will be triple 1.41 Newton per millimeter square so this is stress in section 1 similarly sigma 2 equals P divided by A2. So sigma 2 equals P is 35,000 Newton divided by A2. 706.85. So sigma 2 So after simplifying this So I will get sigma 2 as 49.51 Newton per millimeter square. So this is stress in section 2. Next similarly sigma 3 equals P divided by A3. So P it is common for all the 3 section. So 35,000 Newton divided by, so A3, 1963.49 millimeter square. So sigma 3 equals 1963.49. So load divided by area 1963.49 so which is equal to 17.82 so here it is 17.82 Newton per millimeter square so this is stress in section 3 clear So this is how we can calculate the stresses in each section. So this is sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. Stresses for each individual sections. Next it is required to calculate the total extension of the bar. So next it is required to calculate the total extension. So for which? So we know the formula delta L equals delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L3. So delta L equals 
So delta L1, P L1 divided by A1 E plus P L2 divided by A2 E plus P L3 divided by A3 E. So this is based on principle of superposition. Okay. So delta L equals. So if you observe all the t three terms, load and Young's modulus are constant. So P divided by E. So multiplied by. So remaining terms are L one divided by A one plus L two divided by A two plus L three divided by A three. So let me substitute the values. So delta L equals so P thirty five thousand divided by. So your Young's modulus is two point one into ten raised to five. So L one L one it is two hundred. Divided by a one three fourteen point one five plus so l two l two is two fifty divided by a two seven not six point eight five plus l three two twenty divided by so a three one nine six three point Four nine. Okay. So let me use the calculator for simplification. So I will remove this answer. This is first answer. Sigma one, sigma two, sigma three. So already you know how to calculate the stresses in each section. Clear. So first, thirty-five thousand divided by two point one into ten raised to five. Next. So L one two hundred divided by three one four point one five plus so second two fifty divided by seven not six point eight five so again plus two twenty divided by one nine. Six three point four nine. So close the bracket. So equals. So total elongation for this section will be zero point one eight three millimeters. So this is the final answer. So total elongation. So this is how you can calculate the stresses as well as total extension of the bar. So finally, I have provided the answers. So check these answers with your calculations.